and welcome to The Law Talk Way. I'm Jessica. Today's video is going to be a day in the life in collaboration with Tori from the Oglesby Ohana. So if you are coming over from her channel, welcome. And if you haven't watched her video yet, make sure you hop over there at the end of this one to see that. So you guys have probably already seen that we have a very slow start to our mornings. I'm not a morning person. We are definitely a night owl family. So we are late risers which means that we all kind of enjoy our own individual quiet, slow starts to our day. And now we are gonna go ahead and do some of our like morning chores and get ready. And then we will go ahead and do morning basket. Now we work, me and my husband both work from home. So while I do morning basket with Emily, he is normally working and then later in the day, him and Emily will probably do something together, which makes space for me to be able to work. We'll see how it goes, but that's normally kind of how it works. We kind of trade off back and forth and we work when the other one is spending time with her. Billy ate it offhand, sideways, reading a comic book. Alan and Joe squatted gloomily in the barn, watching him. As Billy was dabbing horseradish sauce on the last bite, Tom's head appeared in the corner of the grimy window. He waved tentatively at Billy. Ignoring him, Billy gulped down the last bite, wiped his mouth, and tucking his comic book under his arm, strolled airily out of the barn, remarking over his shoulder, See you tomorrow, fellas. So that was the seventh worm. So he has eaten seven out of 15, which means he's almost halfway there. That is so crazy. So... Eight plus seven equals 15. Yep, so he has eight more worms to go. Do you think he's going to be able to do it? You think he's going to eat all 15 of them? Probably. And then do you think the other boy's going to be able to come up with $50 that he has to pay him? Mm -hmm. Yeah, me either. He's going to be like, but I wanted that money! And then, he, and then the other boy's going to be like, I'm sorry, I can't get it. I think you're right. My spider's turning out pretty good. All right, let's see what we're going to learn about bugs today. Ooh, I wonder what bug. Bugs and their relatives. Insects, arachnids, and other creepy crawlies are closely related to millions of other small creatures because they are all invertebrates. This broad group of animals includes arthropods, worms, and mollusks. Although they belong to one big family, bugs and their relatives don't look the same. From wiggling worms to scuttling spiders, they come in thousands of different forms. The missing bugs must be six blocks away by now, so we're jumping down the street. We're outside of the town flea market when suddenly I start to feel brown. I scratch my eye, but a second later I feel an itch on my butt. Mila is moving around like Wayne Gretzky doing a cartwheel. I take off my shirt, and what do I see? Stinky red fleas on me. I can't bring these bugs home for, for my insect farm, so I run into the flea market and buy long bugs, blueberry people, and cats. I get to work building a tall Great Wall of China. When the fleas see what I've built for them, they leap off of me and start jumping quickly on the Great Wall of China, some as high as a dog. My friend and I clap stinkily when they finish. Those fleas sure do know how to jump. So we have finished with morning basket and normally about this time we would probably sit down and do some table work, but it is a really, really gorgeous day. So instead of wasting it, we're gonna head outside and spend some time outside and then we'll see what happens after that.
that we spent about an hour outside playing, going for a golf cart ride, enjoying nature, and now we are back inside and we're going to do our table time, which today is going to be um, part of traveling the world. We are in Peru and we are learning about the vacuna. So Emily is going to do her animal profile page while I read about the animal and she has some, I guess, snacks from your snack tray? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> okay. All right, so the vicuña is one of two wild South American camelids, which live in the high alpine areas of the Andes. Vicuñas are relatives of the llama and are now believed to be the wild ancestor of domesticated alpacas, which are raised for their coats. The vicuñas have incredibly thick, soft coat that traps layers of warm air close to its body to protect it from freezing temperatures. The lower teeth of the vicuña grow constantly, almost like a rodent, so that they can eat through the tough grasses. Man has been their most dangerous predator. They were hunted almost to extinction for their soft coat. They are now protected. They do fall prey to the large predators like pumas and foxes occasionally. They have no known prey because the vicuñas graze mostly on grasses. They chew their cud when resting, getting more nutrients out of the nutrient-poor grass. So we are finished with table time. Really the only thing that we wanted to make sure got done or that I wanted to make sure got done today was that we finished up with Peru. I wanted to be able to move on to Europe so that we could be in Ireland when St. Patrick's Day happens because I really want to be able to combine holiday fun around the world, St. Patrick's Day with traveling the world, Ireland. So we're going to combine those two. So our big priority today was to finish up Peru and that is what we're doing. So now that table time is done, Emily will actually be taking an online class and then probably as long as there's enough time before we get ready to start dinner, she'll probably go ahead and do a teaching textbooks lesson while she is doing that me and Kevin will both be getting some work done and then later after we finish um, with her lessons I'm going to keep working through and Kevin and Emily are going to do um, an eat to explore box that has a Peru recipe in it so we got the Peru box we've done two of the three recipes and they're going to finish the third one tonight so you'll get to see them make that recipe it looks really good on the picture so I'm hoping it tastes as good as it looks Well, maybe she looked like Ford's hoof hurting because the hoof was growing like a lot. And maybe see if it's a girl, like if it's gonna have babies soon. And maybe check like all the things, like if you don't know much about moose, you could find out more. And also find out um, how long its antlers are. Tonight for dinner, we are making a meal from our Eat to Explore Peru box.
Bounce that bag it. around, shake it all up, and we're going to get all that meat covered with this, and then we're going to put it in the refrigerator for okay. two hours. Okay? So, okay. very carefully, go ahead and pour it all in there. Every last bit of it. Turn it upside down, move it all around. <laughs> it feels nice and cool. Mm -hmm. So dinner was absolutely delicious, and now we are cuddled up on the couch for a movie night. What are we going to be watching? We're going to be watching Ray and the Last Dragon. Are you guys excited? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Been waiting. So all of us agree, if you have not seen Raya and the Last Dragon, make sure you watch it. It's amazing. We all three equally loved it, which I was not expecting to love it as much as I did. Emily even said, in her opinion, it's better than Frozen 1 and 2, and she was an avid Frozen fan, so I wasn't expecting that from her at all. After we finished watching the movie, we went ahead and put her to bed, and I read two chapters of our current Read a Lot of Bedtime, which is the book one of the Kingdom Keepers. I actually read the whole series myself, and she's been dying for a chance to read them, so I'm reading them aloud to her at bedtime. Um, and now her day is over. So she's in bed and Kevin and I will probably both work for about another hour and then he'll go to bed and I do like last minute things. So I will make Emily snack tray for tomorrow because it's been working really well to have that pre-made and ready to go so she doesn't bug me for snacks all day long. I make it the night before, stick it in the fridge and if she's hungry in between meals she just grabs it. So I will still make that this evening and then I will also probably shrew something. Um, I have no clue what. Stay tuned, stick with me and you guys will see. But I try to shrew something before I go to bed too. That way she has something to wake up to and is kind of um, engaged and already getting her brain turned on and moving in the mornings even when I'm not ready to be human yet. So those are two things I do before I go to bed and I will try to be in bed between 2 and 3 a.m. That's like always the absolute latest. Sometimes I go past that, but I really try to be in bed by 3 so that I can get up by about 9.30 to 10 to start my day. 